Okay, so I was doing some research on the Jessica Herringa case, and previously, earlier today, I was doing some research on the Mormon Church, because I remember seeing some stuff on the internet about uh, Jordan Maxwell. Jordan Maxwell had a lot of problems from the Mormon Church, and it made me really think. I was like, man, the Mormon Church, and I haven't seen any Mormons or anything like that that I know of uh, follow me, but... I was thinking about this before, months ago. I was thinking about who do I know from the Mormon church or who from the Mormon church knows anybody I know. There might be some sort of Mormon connection into the contract snitching and harassment and all that stuff. But And to be honest, going and looking at Colorado, like there's gang stalking cases of people who leave the Mormon church in Colorado. That's a big thing. But anyhow, okay, so now that's a separate thing. Um, now we're going to look at this Jessica Herring thing. Uh, so, Jessica Herring, uh, there's a secret phone drug connection that was in the newspaper, and the Drug Enforcement Agency never investigated it. And those photographs of all those needles and all that stuff, and handcuffs, like, it makes you think, somewhere along the line, drugs were involved, right? So, when it came to the contract stocking, like, definitely cops were involved in it, but I had a girl that I was seeing, she was a friend of mine, like, we were dating, but, she, you know, she was a friend of mine, and she had somebody, the contract stalkers, that were snitching and setting everybody up around the heights and around the projects and stuff. They were using people to get her addicted to heroin. And this was going on at the Airline Motel and the Alpine Motel in North Shore. This was back, uh, this, was back a while, this was a while back. And what else, what are the details, do I, do I have? I got some stuff written down. I might have to bring out my files. But, um... The girl, she was riding around the car with the main people, and like they were white guys, and it made me think like these white guys that are that are doing this involved with all the snitching, all this stuff, and the gang contract stalking. A lot of them, I had seen some of them. I had seen, I think, one of them downtown by like the Mod Rec Club and the Lakeside Veterans Club around that area. There's a foreign, a, like a foreign uh, wars club right by the Exxon Mobil gas station. And I was thinking about like how the cops did me in my case. Like I got set up completely and I was looking at Jeffrey Willis's case and I'm thinking like, what does an airline Alpine motel heroin drug snitching contract stocking connection have to do with what could have happened at Exxon Mobil gas station? You know, and there's been like some big bust. Like there was like people, there was people infiltrating like the Sonola cartel, like the Sonola cartel is a big drug cartel, and there's a lot of snitching going on. People in the Sonola cartel, like, you know, getting arrested are people affiliated with it in Muskegon. And I saw a guy in the newspaper, he got arrested for it. And I knew, I knew, I know who his family is. I knew who he was. I seen that. This happened a few years ago. And so, like, all these contract stalkers and snitches and stuff, and, like, harassing people, all this stuff, I think there's a connection somewhere between the Jessica Herringa case at the Exxon Mobil gas station and the airline motel, the Alpine motel, with, with like, off-duty cops or cops and prostitutes and heroin. And this is just, like, this is information people have come to me and told me, like, yeah, I know a police who have sex with prostitutes at that motel and all that stuff. So there's, 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 there's room for an investigation on it.